So a lot of you have been with me since the beginning, like when I first started on my YouTube channel and I put my MPC X out and I was like, I want to plug my guitars into it and jam out because I used to record into a BR-8 recorder and I had a bunch of like Korg uh, Electribe synthesizers and stuff that I never even put on this channel. Going through a ton of different gear and a whole bunch of different find a way how you want to work uh, moments and then every time you get a new piece of gear of course rearranging the studio it's just a lot of work and it's like why do you do it why do i do it it's just something makes me do it all right it's something about sounds it's something about music and i believe that just by collecting stuff little by little things are happening um long story short and i never really get on this on my channel okay how I have time to do this now, all right? I was working 80, 90 hours a week. It left me with 70 hours to eat, sleep, do whatever I needed to do. Uh, I've got two kids. A lot of you guys right now are, and, and a wife, a lot of you guys right now are just having your kids, and you have seen people drop out of YouTube because it's busy. So I look back now at things that I've done, and how far I've come along and the support that you guys have given me and the support that I have from my wife and my kids also. Um, I think it's very, very important to have a strong support system like that. Um, again, I have over 10,000 subs now. It's a really, really small channel, but I've come a long way just by sharing stuff on here and I don't want people to give up because Whenever, okay, so like back to the story, back to the story. It's like I never really share this on my YouTube. I never really talk about what I do. So, no, I don't do music for a living, but it's something that I want to do. Like I say, it's a dream for me to be able to do this full time. But I want to share something with you guys today. It might, it might help you out. Growing up, when I was, let's skip to when I was about 13, 14 years old, me and my old man, we started collecting stuff. We started collecting, I used to tell kids on the bus, like, oh no, no my dad can cook, my dad can cook, he can outcook your dad. And we used to get in fights and, uh, or arguments back in the day. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, my dad can cook better than your dad. But, but no, nah, for real, my pops can cook better than your, better than your pops. So... We grew up in kitchens. We know how to cook very well. We love what we do. We was just cooking pizzas and, you know, eating regular like we do every night when we was kids. As far as I can remember, it was pizzeria. So that's just something that we always did. It was a hustle. Now, collecting pieces of equipment for a pizzeria, someone said, oh, we got some ovens. If you can get them out of here for 300 bucks, you can have them without scratching up the place. So we went, three trucks four guys and we went and got them we went and picked them up we we lifted them up we and they budged and me and pops looked at each other and was like dude we're getting it for what but we didn't have a building we didn't have any thing we just knew we that we wanted those ovens so we got those ovens next thing you know we got a dough mixer and this all relates to music is what i'm trying to say and or anything that you're trying to do so just follow me on this all right trust me Long story short, after collecting so much gear, okay, we'll call that pizza equipment gear, out in an alley in Clayton, in the middle of the snow, just excited to be able to cook, and we wanted people to try our product, just like rappers used to give out their demo tapes. We would go out there and we were selling slices, just giving them out. We were giving the slices out. And then we got invited to an event before we were even open. Uh, how we opened was a dude came into our house and we were just eating regular it was a long night of work you know i was working at a pizza shop and i dropped out of school and i went straight to work at a pizza shop out in wichita kansas and then i ended up coming to st louis worked at a pizza shop blah 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 but we was eating pizza and uh bob bob came over Fucking white. This dude Bob came over, and uh, he's just like, "Man, what do we, uh, what do we got to do?" He tried the pizza, and he's just like, "Man, what do we got to do to get this out there?" He's like, "Man, we just have a slice of this." And he told us to find a spot, so he was our angel. But the want to always want to do it, 
And then when we opened the place, check this out. When we opened the place, we didn't advertise the health department there. It was everybody, it was, it was a long story. We can talk more about this later, but I'm trying to get to a point. When we opened and the health inspector said, yeah, you guys can go ahead and open. We took that day off and then we opened. We didn't advertise, we didn't do anything. I think our, our, our pizza sign like turned on outside the little bitty building, which is still there right now. But one by one, people kept coming in, little by little. And it's been 20 years now that we've been doing this. My kids have grown up in that place. My, my daughters work that place now. It's crazy. My wife runs that shit. She does that stuff now. Um, it's crazy. We, we still only have one shop, but we keep it nice and simple, and it works, and we only have 80 pizzas a day. I'm just saying, like, by collecting stuff, now you can't even get a pizza there. Forget about it, dude. After 7 o'clock, it's not that place. It's not that place. And it, and it, and it works a lot with with a lot of things. Like, I'm not there. We're not there to deal with weirdos. You know, you go in there, you got to be... You got to be on it, dude. I don't care if you're tough or whatnot, but you got to be respectful, and especially when it's a family restaurant. And it's the same way you got to treat your music stuff. And I, I'm seeing it happen the same way that I've seen it happen already. History is repeating itself over and over, over and over. So it's just with a different concept. Now I got this music stuff going. I'm not supposed to be here. I am collecting this stuff. And I'm ahead of the game on the timeline of when Pops opened up that shop with me back in uh, 2003. So I'm just saying I'm a little bit ahead. I got a lot of the gear. I have my mixer. I have my turntable. I have my, my meat slicer. I got all my shit, right? I got all my shit. I got the people that back me and believe in me. I got all of, all of my stuff. So a lot of us are sitting in the same spot. Like, man, I got all this stuff sitting around. But what am I going to do with it? And what am I going to do with it? Just be patient. And like I say, let, let God lead. Okay, since we're all around this whole Christmas and everything going on, let, let God lead. Let him lead you. you know, like, you don't know why you're doing a lot of stuff. And that's that power, man, is that you let God lead and shit just falls right into place. You're going to lose a lot of people. You're going to lose a lot of people. Not not, not all of them are going to die. A lot of them are just going to turn around and just, you're going to lose them, you know. I would say count five people on your hand and use the other one to shoo off other motherfuckers. But, um, yeah, no, dude, that's, that's real shit. It can be real fucking crazy. Um, I can tell you you got to show up. And that's why I know this is working, too, because I show up. I don't have to be here right now. I don't have to be here. It's just something that makes me want to be here right now. Um, this is what I want to do. That's super dope, guys. Um, but, yeah, you're going to lose a lot of shit. But if that's what you want to do, then you just have to put your shutters on and shoot for it, man. And like, I really don't like talking about the pizza shop on this channel. I never say, hey, no, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. But the fact of the matter is, the best-selling food in America is pizza. It's not hamburgers. It's not cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers is next on the, on, on, it's like down here, but pizza is number one seller. And we got the best. I make the best pizza out there. It's top in the country. Here in Missouri, you're fucked. It ain't happening. You're not making a better pie than, than me or my old man or my wife or my brother or any of my team. Because we got a heavy team. We got a team when it comes to that. And, uh, and eventually I want to get to that point when it comes to my, my music. I want to be able to, got to start the same way. I just use it as a reference. I got to take one record and pass it around. And that's why I say on my last video I was going to make an EP and try to do it. And it's scary as all get out, dude. You're investing your own time and money into something that you believe that, that will be good. And it's, 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 
it's fucked up, dude. It's a big, it's a big leap, dude. But and then it's like, it will, will anybody even take the records? Like, I'm gonna give these out for free. I'm gonna charge for them, but I want my product out because I would have never got this far. I would never be be able to spend this time with you guys if we wouldn't have been in that basement putting our product out and letting people try it. And look at us now. You can look up. Um, just fuck it, fuck it. Look up Dave Portoy, Portoy, Portnoy. Look up Dave Portnoy. I don't even know who this dude was, dude. He busted into the pizza shop, and he gave us the best score in St. Louis, and shit went through the roof, man. The dude was not having a good time. We didn't know him. He wasn't our friend or anything like that. But shit went through the roof. And it's just word of mouth that that works. It's word of mouth. Word of mouth sp spreads faster than any hundred dollars. I'll tell you that much right now. Word of mouth is crazy. Right on, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. And like I say, man, let God guide you, man. Don't think, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? That's what makes, that's what makes like superheroes and shit. They don't ask, why am I jumping in front of this bus? To say, they're doing that, and they do it, and that's what makes them what they are. That's what makes us what we are. Is by doing the shit that we're supposed to be doing. So I'm going to get off here and do some shit that I'm supposed to be doing. I'll see you guys on the next one. It was cool talking with you. I just wanted to spend a little time with you guys. And uh, I kind of stopped doing lives because I get caught up in the comments and then I lose train of thought. And the next thing you know, I'm spending four or five hours doing this on here. So it's been, it's been a little while since I've done that. But I'll get back on here and spend some time, some one-on-one -on -one with you guys if you have any questions. But my main point today was to not feel like holy shit i got all this gear and just sitting here it's like no it's almost time so get ready is more the point right on i'm poly popo and i'll see you guys on the next one <laughs>